there is so much confusion because we constantly have people on the internet who are trying to discredit, who are trying to invalidate the existence of Makosi over our lifetime, which is us. You know, um, but the, the unfortunate part is self initiate while trying to Noma Amakos, while trying to validate their existence. They have been so pompous and cocky, trying to push and move through. So this thing has created an, a, a, a revolt from, you know, the other types of healers who are mainly traditional healers. Mm -hmm. But I'll try and explain Amakosi um, without looking at the hierarchical levels and the importance. But let's rather look at the functions which is which makes it relevant in this lifetime. So when we look at the functions, Amakosi, we are talking about people who've got traceable royal bloodline. It, you don't just wake up one day and say, well, Amakosi, look at the surnames, Yotolabu Mathangu, Wabos Kosana, Yotolabu Zulu. These are royal bloodline. But now where it brings a little bit of a disconnect is where Umundo Enekazilu Kosi. This is not a person, Ose Makosi, but so a descendant, Unekazila Makosi. That's where we find royalty. So if the, the royal seed lives in you, mm -hmm. you cannot be converted or taken otherwise. You form part of the elite clan, which is, um, you know, I'm a self-initiate. Do you use Umuti? Yes, I do. How? I'm a self-initiate. I was now. Yeah. But now it's going back when I said the Ubun Komanani in the different... Look, um, this... I don't understand the Mangi Shuguti. When you're when you're a self initiate unamakos unobnyanga and obnyanga sebazi gupi from ebangomein, so that's why they keep thinking we are plagiarizing. In principle, si afan against ebenzo, tizen. Okay, okay, okay. Moreover, you added a sangoma can only perform divination if a client is sitting in front of them. Mkulu, some sangomas are of the view that is ignorance of how they work. Are you not concerned that you might be viewed as ignorant of something that you have not gone through yourself? We're going back. I did ask you earlier on, mm -hmm. but now I'm somewhere else. Please, what's yeah. your thought? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another interesting episode of Manjis and Thoughts. Your host, Chef Patanani Mbata. Hello everyone, welcome to another interesting episode of Manches and Thoughts. Oh my Manches, I miss you so much. And I've got this handsome man. Hello darling. <laughs> <laughs> so Where have you been? Um, well, I've been evolving. My goodness. Yes. I've the been. last time I sat with you was two years back or a year back? I believe it's two years back. Mara. <laughs> I was just standing very much and thoughts. I'm a manchis warm in our house. I was always standing very good. Zagala, when Zagala, guys, talk to me. So actually, I was I was quite hectic, you know. Yeah. Uba busy, I'm cool. Growing in the spiritual journey, so it's been holding me back. That's why I don't post so regularly. Okay. My time is actually limited, and I'm paying very much attention to my work. Okay. And make sure that the craft is perfect. Uk dilang imi pef mulo ya ban du uk dilang api oza makosi. It's not something easy. So it's something that needs meticulous attention and it's something that really requires one to constantly grow because even the challenges I come across, are they different? Yeah. Sometimes I'm fighting with different types of, um, you know, infernal beings. We're talking about demons. We're talking about um, witchcraft on advanced levels. So yeah. I always have to be sound, spiritually firm and, you know, sharp all the time. So that's why I'm taking so much time evolving. Wow, that's beautiful. Let me not take a shine away from you. Please introduce yourself. Tell them who are you, where you're from, what's special about you. And if you want to leave your contact details, please do so. Because my manches, they're always asking me, Chef, I can't share my number. Chef, I can't see And I can't just give people's numbers without them saying yes. And the man in me has a chance to go to share with the show when I share. Unfortunately, I can't give you guys the numbers. But anyway. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yes, we are shooting smile. I'm always keeping um, keeping a G, but <laughs> it's okay. Can do I am? Yes, you are munchies and thoughts. Um, of course, darling. <laughs> I'm just I'm just affected by your energy. Mm -hmm. So, um, lovely viewers, Bob Masangu. I'm basically a self initiate, and um, I'm a mentor of other self initiates. I'm a spiritual healer. I'm not a traditional healer. 
And I'm um, basically royal bloodline was a Makosini. So uh, major parts of my work is to work with spirits. I work with Abantabadala. I basically work with Umayoktagati, you know, um, you may name different types of spirits. Um, Pagamisa Makaya. And what I normally do is Mbuisa Ilozi. I'm there, I assist quite a lot. I'm there. And basically, I do a lot of work in terms of esoteric teachings. This is like um, taking people through a journey of awakening and enlightenment. It's not just about our tradition, but we supersede levels of tradition where we look into an entire spectrum of a spiritual evolution. So, yes, I'm based in Gauteng, um, Mabopani, very close to Winterfeld. So my contact number is 061-063-9793. So Tolagalakona, if anyone would like to book an appointment with me, please go to spiritmode.net, book an appointment, and we will assist you. Name Zulege was translated on Mobani Oboyapi. And we share the number I care and gangs and toller my messages. Ning tell in number mkulu, go by gang is nick. Unfortunately. Thank you so much for joining me and I am excited to be sitting with you. It's totally. always a pleasure. You're looking nice. <laughs> darlings. shy, but it's okay, darlings. You know, I'm I'm so uh, uh, um happy because one of the things that we'll be talking about today, it's a journey I'm a cozy. Totally. And uh, 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 Uncle you agree with me that spiritual awakening and transformation is a subject and guided by one ancestor's messengers and guide. Togo. So, and the Ama Kosi, he can have some Kosi in there. So I, I don't know if you can touch and just to explain a bit, Ijeni Ama Kosi. Um, thank you so much for the question because there is so much confusion because we constantly have people on the internet who are trying to discredit, who are trying to invalidate the existence of Ama Kosi of our lifetime, which is us. You know, um, but the, the unfortunate part is self-initiates while trying to noma amakos, while trying to validate their existence. They have been so pompous and cocky, trying to push and move through. So this thing has created an, a, a, a revolt from, you know, the other types of healers who are mainly traditional healers. Mm -hmm. But I'll try and explain. Amakosi, um, without looking at the hierarchical levels and the importance, but let's rather look at the functions which, is, which makes it relevant in this lifetime. So when we look at the functions, Amakosi, we are talking about people who've got traceable royal bloodline. It, you don't just wake up one day and say, well, Amakosi, look at the surnames, Yotolabo Masangu, Wabos Kosana, Yotolabo Zulu. These are royal bloodline. But now where it brings a little bit of a disconnect is where Umundo Enekazilu Kosi. This is not a person, Osemakosi, but so a descendant, Unekazila Makosi. That's where we find royalty. So if the, the royal seed lives in you, mm -hmm. you cannot be converted or taken otherwise. You form part of the elite clan, which is, um, you know, I'm a self-initiates. And when I say elite, I don't mean we are better than others, but spiritually we are positioned on a high um, hierarchical level, which is, you know, willing um, mm -hmm. So basically, um, Amakosi have a different type of spiritual awakening. They go through a different type of spiritual mm -hmm, awakening, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. which is not the same as the other one, because let's just take a very common example. If we look at the, the tribes of Israel, we find that there's 12 tribes of Israel, because people understand the Bible better. From the 12 tribes of Israel, we've got the sons of Joseph. Mm -hmm. So these sons are basically have different capabilities or abilities. Mm -hmm. For example, you look at Asa, you look at or, or, or God, you know, you look at all these sons, mm -hmm. Kona or Judah. Mm -hmm. From the loins of Judah came Amakosi. These were appointed judges and kings of Judah and Israel. Okay. So now we also have such, Konabantu who come from the loins of those who have been assigned leadership. Basically, Kwanabanya who are protection and war, Kwanabanya who are within trades and agriculture. So we've got different types of abilities. Asna Moya, Ofana, Noma, Isabelo, Esfana. The legacy is different. So the self initiates are those who have been assigned to be leaders, who have been assigned to be, you know, the ones who have the royal bloodline, will take a different function. Hence, I'm saying let's not gauge ourselves based on hierarchical levels, but let's look at functions. Leaders are there to provide leadership. 
wisdom and direction. You know, that's their specific role. That's why self-initiates would be bishops. Self-initiates would be Abantaba Paramisumoya. Self-initiates would be leaders in industries. Self-initiates would be, um, you know, um, spiritual seekers who are like sage, I'm a guru, because we have received a gift that allows us to be strategically positioned to do such functions. And we've got other special healers who deal with different issues, you know, from hierarchical levels. So must not understand the journey Amakosi. That's why Amakosi cannot be taken through each journey that's more like Ubungoma. It's not going to be possible because Ubungoma has its own practices which do not always align Namakosi. So many Namakosi, if I Paramise I Dalwa, I Paramise in Zunza, I Paramise in Tumia, I Paramise I Paramise Ubunyanga, because Amakosi have both. But there is a dominant ancestor. prophet. It's different. So is is the one or Regardless of the fact that we sangoma noma um prophet, but we are tunya abatala itong. So this person will basically be your guide. Yes, long as it we guide. A bese, yes, long as he fancy less sangale in conjoins babies and guardian angels. So now that one, we are also vela, ome vela, that's that's the expression you take. Zoba would be young, I'm clambo weekend, and nom clambo prophet. So this is a beautiful journey that does not need confinement. If you are humble, you are and then you are taught certain practices. You might find that as it allow you as humble, na lo ogi ego, because other self initiates are plain priests. Okay, before you proceed, Togos, uh, I'm listening to you. Ngabe uti uzong pigis among pigis. Togos. Most of my course are self initiate. Yes. So I don't know. Uzong correct. Togos. I will say I'm a course about us. Togos. Okay. The, the the reason why unga watu wase la makosu kutimba ngabe ubiziwe of course ipshugile kukona bante batiki bo muni sapula la bante benzi zulini so that type of course kutimba ngabe ya hamba o ya e ngome ni zabango uye twas bazo kufundi subu ngoma which is good but you find that it doesn't touch base on that aspect kutimba ngabe siyo paramisa makosu ama kosu ha paranyiso amanya ama kosu inga kuna se paipelini when you look at um, the ones who anointed abantu wana binkosi for ukosu these are specific prophets who were chosen from the lineage of Makos. So that's what happens. But if Uzo Hamba, Utolu Melapi, Utexis, Uzo Xizu Melapi, you find that it's Tunyo Sea Pagama, you find that Ubungo Mabia Pagama, Noma, Umgo Mokuya Pagama, but Usasalele move, because I get a lot of people who are calling, but Baba Seng Twasiling Akreta, but Natik Samili. So I'm a cause of what to say, because we are not following the patterns. I'm a cause by a zenzel. In a woman to a cause, I mean, I'm a zenzel, but I'm a self initiate. Like I'm a little castle of a tabaning. But I'm a young best when I'm a bad castle of wooding. Like I'm a little. It's an English word. Remember, for now, I can listen to Angas. At least we are here today. So, for now, to say that my and myself, of course. So now, the biggest problem here, we've had a conversation on TikTok because we can't even call out one caller out on one of my videos. Ang tandi conflict. We must make sure that I keep my composure and my esteem as I'm intact all the time. So um, I found him on one of his lives and I said, Mkulu, can I please respond to the questions that you were asking? So one accept, and Mkulu manai. So as we were talking, the biggest issue here, it's the fact that when you say you're a self-initiate, it's like you are boastful and proud. You think you are smart, you are self-sufficient, you don't need anyone. And when we self-initiate, when you seek help from Abangoma, they get even more pissed. But I want people to understand, the Manchis to understand today, that Masiti, when we self-initiate, we talk about someone who's following the guide of the self. The self encompasses your ancestors, encompasses your higher self mm -hmm. and your physical self. Mm -hmm. So when you say self, it means ancestors are outside. No, that's not true. Mm -hmm. Because with the interconnectedness of your yourself as a unit, Umuntu agazenzi, wenzwa yisid ega baba, wenzwa umama. So these are aspects of the self. That's why you inherit the genetic code from your mother. You also inherit some characteristics from your father as well, or the genetic code. So you have amadlos wagini as the part of your aspect, you know, as aspects of you. So as a self-initiate, you take from yourself, which is your higher self, nama tongo akambisai, noma abantabatala bakambisai. So the reason why you're a self-initiate, I 
awazu tolo muntu zo chelu utu sebe nze ganjani. But you take from your ancestors because other self-initiates that I personally train, ba tolo utu muntu figa ano mdao. Lo mdao angu tuwa siisi. Nyam pagami isu mdao and I guide through the process because uko no mkule ngi mtanda kakulu but he just likes to insult people for a living. Don't mention them. This is about you and me. Yes. So saying shugudu no mkulu has been so strongly at thinking uti ama self-initiates our fame. I've got a proven track record of ama self-initiates engwa pagami sayo. So the truth is ama self-initiates are not people over twasi sayo. Minume figu mundu, I'm gonna follow the steps and the principles they were supposed to take by themselves. I guide, I provide clarity and direction. It's the aspect of the self which is abandabadal. It's through dreams, it's through intuition. Ufige nomdao, for the first time in school, we ni masengi mpagamisa wafemba. She's never seen that before. Azanga twas, agdinge twasi swalap. Kulmanga ma mediums. Okay, okay, before you go to the mediums. Now, uh, 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 because they are self initiated So I believe that my dreams can guide them at home, can mm -hmm. guide them wherever they are. They don't need to go and see somebody because they are self initiated Very good question. So, what exactly are you doing? Are you Very playing a role of a cobella? A role of a sangoma or whoever, and then now I, I saw there's no sana. conflict there. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm asking you, yes. you will answer me because remember, Wuti, whatever we're saying, we are educating, Togos. so we need these people to uh. understand. I think it will also limit the, the, the conflict on social media mm -hmm. and everywhere because when people hear self initiate. <laughs> You had my Thank you. So, in the we show self initiates are a lost nation. Oh, wow. They are lost. Some of them, some of the, the, the principles they hold, they're very condescending, I must say. As a self initiate, Nami, they embarrass me because there's no understanding to what they do. First of all, they just go big, you know, but pompous, are cool, mm. trying to, 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 to suppress Abanya mm. Bela. But now I want to go to your question. The question of Bukulma Ngayoguti, if somebody comes to me, um, Asibege Siti Uza Epechwin, doesn't that take away Uguti and we self initiate? Mm -hmm. Doesn't that make mm -hmm. me Ukobel? Mm -hmm. So the answer is no, because first of all, Angsu Yenu Kobel. Mm -hmm. Angsu Kobel because Ang Twasisi Muntu, Ang Posisi Mutikas Lembuzi, Angifundisi Muntu at a tradition Tizeni. Angifundisi Bungoma, Angfundisi Amakos. Amakos is not a tradition, but it's, it's a spiritual, it's more like a, 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 a spiritual environment. Mm -hmm. We are basically looking at umuntu ohamba ngobela pi obhlukile because amakhosi sina amakhosi wamazulu ana ma abilities wawo abesuthu abatswana bonke labo so if sizothi amakhosi it's a tradition which I was with the Ingeni Makose, I was with Ingeni Mandebelin. So Ubukosi, Noma Amakosi, it's a spiritual journey which is very unique with every individual from every different clan. So Mina Angsuye Nukobelo, what I do is I do the things that the parent of the self initiate was supposed to do. Uma umama ezalo and is piu, Inganya Kizoban is piu. As a self initiate, umama uzofundiswa abatala we because lento it's in the it's in the bloodline, it's in the lineage. Mm -hmm. So what I'm doing is lala iroliom zali wako who abandoned you, their calling wahaba wen konzwe ni. No, my parent who's passed on mm -hmm. because as a self initiate, ak figure lama pupi aboni swin seven zaku boni swa young into. But there will come a confusion. You can't decode your dreams. You don't understand your tradition. Your parent na ngose konzwe ni. So who's going to guide you because you'll get stuck. So I play a role of a spiritual parent who will decode your dreams, who will help you understand how to connect, who will help you go through cleansing. spiritual obstacles. Deep cleansing. the spiritual practices. I'm going to teach you that. So I'm just guiding. I'm a mere guide. A self-initiate I trust you. So Labantu Beza Ewazu Femba. Ubiango Mwaki because Mo Femba u Vro Moyo Femba Um Dao. So ngim twasisa no mangim fundisan. According to my understanding. Lomutu zoveling in paramisum dao mo pagem we have fembe lum dao. Okay. Tell me, Kel. Um who gave you the powers to teach other self-initiates? Thank you. 
So now, this is a very beautiful question because Mina personally, in Davayok Twasisa or anything that looks like Twasis, my initiates always love. Banging a fool. Manka Dugu's Pagamisa, Ms. Pagamisa and Ganza Wonke, all by myself. But when I got stuck, Abata Lavan Komba, Imento, one of them, Mumgom, and that's why I'm Tele Lavangom. One of them, Mum Prophet, that's why I'm Tele Lava Prophet. As a self initiate, Angbata Tele Pants. So they showed me some of the practices that I was supposed to, you know, um, um, work with bang siza lapo na lapo so sibuya la pekwile ndaba obuibuza kona majud who gave me the powers so ntema nkwe tukwe nza njalo and I, actually I was, I, was, I, was, I was in business so ngaba ni poo pwile nchele uti yegeli business because ya bwana mina ubu ngoma sorry not ubu ngoma ubu nyanga it's something ebe nyenza part time I was okay doing business. I wanted to be the best. But my calling was different. This is not your path. But rather, full time. So I had to leave. And I'm living in an apartment. You know, life is expensive. But I had to leave. With full trust, guess what happened? Mm -hmm. People start rushing to me. How do I connect with ancestors? I'm a self-initiate. I need help. So they kept coming. But you need to design a program. Then I told them. Oh, yes. Yes, I chose. But guess what happened? Yes, I chose. But guess what happened? Everything stopped. My practice here, magonga sangi ni mundo. Bang vezela i i i i batin lento ya ya bandao. Em bang vezela le le lapi lenjeti. Bang vezela ne pitani. Then from there I knew sex should be because it's quiet. Angsa tola ma consultations. Angsa na mundo ngena yuzo kesa utulil. Nga pata ngat bandaba talangyes. Nga hamba nga imanzi nga paga misa. Nga paga misa logo nga bui. The first client who came is the one who pupil and not me. Upupile uguti ena kufanele eze ezo pagamisa. Gwe. Yes, gwe. Besa nabi nga pupa after that. Umefiga zong jayel angjelu uti a couple of days before nga pupa. Then benga azuti kshubili. So wang jayelu uti pupi ekleli pants ebo na mabala. Se azu uti masita mabala. Skuli mangan. Skuli mangan se petwen. Nabi nga pupa engena echara den lala peskodwen. E peti bagete azo kamanz. Water, it's your spiritual journey. It's your spiritual life. It's your spiritual power. E puma nge bagete lkwen. Then I knew uti say shubili. Because I tried to rebel against my ancestors, I tried to rebel against my ancestors, I tried to rebel against my This is your path. After that, my first initiates were three. I respected my ancestors, I respected my ancestors, but I respected my ancestors, I respected my ancestors. So where does the authority come from? It was divine direction. I was actually compelled to do that. Oh, that's beautiful. So, that's beautiful. But still, another question. You know, I will write my questions, but I end up like asking what the spirit is telling me. Togo. So, don't you think you self initiate? Mm -hmm. You are doing the same thing. Well, the difference is just that Nina and in Puza and Palaza. I don't know. I'm just asking. <laughs> well, it, it, it is quite a good question because mm -hmm. from outside, mm -hmm. but anyway, but twice, like some self initiates. But trust me, Angi has a process of twice. And I'm definitely not applying the process of twice. What I'm applying is what, what people are supposed to do all on their own. Because whatever that you have to do as a self initiate, that's what you do. But like a petrain, out twice. I'm just giving you a safe environment and I'm being there. I'm, I'm presenting myself as a spiritual father or rather a mentor just to help you go through the self-initiation journey. I don't know if that makes sense. Because most people who know But it's different with us because I equip process here journey. Umuntu ya wazi kutafige lapo, kufanele nge mpaka misema nzini, besa nge mfundisa one practice we are ham. Neza ngo mazi haya musema nzini, zi haba sabi nzima abandi mazi. Yebo togoz. So I would like to say, mklambe, just to go back to your question once again, lezi ntuwe si zenzayo, in principle, there are principles that we do almost the same. 
Mm-hmm. But guided by their ancestors, it would look almost like we are twas. But the beauty of it is we we am gulelo it was like. But so kono mu nyumuntu mage figure nje uzelu things of paramisa makosi, utala eloge sebenza, u hambi lwa nkonzo in postolo or paramisa wenza. My role was just to paramisa makosi, wa kru wa kubega wa sebenz. But now let's go back to the principles. Umuntu na makosi uno bungoma, futi uno moy. Eh, o seven zang is prophet. So loyal moon to Umangabe Uhambila wa inkonzo in apostoli, Uzonke lento as in this way, Zafana no wuti u paramisa em apostolin. Lo munto paramisa umoya wobnyanga, uzo fana no munto umgom. So as lugi good. That's why my mentors umgom, one of my mentors umgom, utwasi ukradile, he taught me some of the practices. So but is a plagiarize. I mean I'm not here to say it in a we are so unique, si bashe si palaba nyabantu. No. In principle, Abangoma have been keeping our beautiful tradition mm-hmm. and they assist us along the journey. I wish you this no no gunabo. But our functions are different. Kwanaban aba shine ba nabani sim vula, aba aba aba, you know, who are gatekeepers of certain truths, who kwana ma spiritual teachers among self-initiates. But Abangoma, they still play an active role because by was who sees us pagami. Self-initiates are a lost nation. Back to I've got a group of about 122. Their minds are still not emancipated about understanding. Basa tele la bangoma. Basa se chelo gudba zenze la benze. La bangoma could help us a lot. If we work together today, asigele nito e hierarchy because amandla wa fan, amandla wa lingan. People get 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 really angry mang shonganja. The truth is amandla wa lingan. Amandla wa lingan. But I'm hearing you, Kesha. Um, not that in Kumela, the other parts, and not the other parts. Togos. Uti, I'm a self initiated in Labangom. Abangom, I'm a deliver on self initiated. I'm a Sabogi Bamba Abangoma because that's. No, no, I, it's just <laughs> a, a comment. Saying shooting Sabogi Bamba because Abangom, I think they're retaliating to some to some extent a valid, um, it's, it's like a valid response. I'm a self initiated by Tele Limpel. I don't think by Tele, but anyway, it's fine. Um, tell me. Do you use Umuti? Yes, I do. How? I'm a self I was even using Umuti now. Yeah. But now it's going back when I said the Ubun Koma Nani is in different. Look, um, this, I don't understand the Mangi Shuguti. When you're, when you're a self initiate, Unamakos, Unobnyanga, and Ubnyanga Sibazi Gupi from Ebangomain. So that's why they keep thinking we are plagiarizing. In principle, see a fan against Ebenzo. Tizen. Okay. Um, do you have a better name for self initiate in Nguni, Zulu, whatever? Like, not Lelis Slung. Some that you can give it to me. Okay. Anyway, Angsaz is Slung. But at least you can hear me. <laughs> so, um, of course. Yes, darling. Mina, Mina, I've been an advocate for, for Islung. Um, I've had a lot of people on the internet saying, We are better. I'm not defined by Isizulu. So, um, but I do love e culture and the tradition here too. So, Tina Saban Basema Kosin, yes, Lungu City, we are royal healers mm-hmm. because it comes from the Makosin. So, then, that by self initiate by a zone, that by Ninga by Tand. No, no, but I need the Zulu, the Nguni name, yes, self initiate. No, you, you can't put it aside because you started with Makosi. Yeah. I'm a self initiate. That's true. So now, Mount you are a parker. We park here. Okay, so here's the thing. Um, I want you to understand the reason why I'm using English. It's because Amazulu, they've got a very valid point. But we are better. According to the Zulu understanding, tradition, and culture, we are better. That's true. I'm not going to deny that. Mm-hmm. But if we are going to limit our knowledge, our esoteric understanding, to Isi Zulu, is Pedi, is Kosa, we're limiting mm-hmm. ourselves. Mm-hmm. So we are able to channel higher knowledge, which cannot be described or explained in our own native traditions. Because umen kuluma, bafunu utiba pege, esi Zulu nileo ntiko, na mei ngeko bae dismiss. But it's it's more like people who believe in the Bible. If it's not in the Bible, bae dismiss. Is the, can the Bible have the entire existence? Can it tradition Isi Zulu, Es Pedi, have the entire existence? Ama kosi kwa 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 that's why I call prominent land. No me vela nam flange. By a dismissal because I understand. And to a greater extent, by a saba because but abu ma belege pishon, abu ma balege pishon by a twasis. Okay, Kat. Wait. Mbuze mi nika malele. And ut by a dismissal what what? Yes. Of course, into manga yazin zui dismissal. Until someone educates me. How's that? 
Remember, we are from this. We are from this. So, and remember, change is not nice. Yes. I get come and the change. But eventually, she has changed. But yeah. So um, also, when I, if you something else, what what they dismiss it? Of course they will dismiss it. Okay, you spoke about the Bible earlier on. Mm-hmm. There are a lot of people who don't believe in, in the yes. Bible because there are a lot of things there as is lahayo, as is sakayo. But it's all about you as a person. So I just want to understand when I'm because you are a self initiate. And umundo miyama I'm so I believe you. You might have, mm-hmm. and maybe that name, yeah, the good name, it will assist a lot of people that are watching, even the people that are fighting self initiates they will stop. So in truth, I'm going to look at my self initiates in our native language because self initiation we learn from other spiritual traditions. We learn from that. And now we're able to connect it back to us because it's funny how I've been studying all these spiritual arts or numerology. And it was la Marcellus Gatrisalis Versa. People can dismiss that, but I equally on the but I don't care what they say because we are helping people see and gene. So according to our discoveries with church and with culture and tradition, but as we open up our minds, as we study and understand other spiritual traditions, um, that's when we're able to see I, I fall under a category of myself initiates because these things have always been there. But I'm a self initiate, I'm a getla. That's not true. Ikeza, ikeza, is self initiate is something different. Because ukeza, no ma ikeza, skunba ngumunto seven za ngumuti, onga slashubi. No munto boni sumuti, ola pipe. But I'm a self initiate, ba slashuba, because ba no moya will profit. And self initiate, ba na pure a mean. You find that it's three or four different types of spiritual gifts that were bestowed upon that person's life. So ngokshoga njaloge, angilazi kama, mthambe lukona, but angilazi kama, lama self initiate. That's why I came from a background. Mina, when I started my spiritual journey, banging I anything to do with African tradition because I came into conflict, I came into struggling, I came into commotion ending. I thought, you know, because I was cocky at the time, I felt I love and love and love and love and love but abantu abadala bangehlisa ukuthiyeka le pride yakho yehlu understand mina when i first started i studied quantum physics that's why i understand with the mawenzi ritual how does the power work how does the power dynamic the energy why is into zenze ginga kuma ngenza mina ama rituals bangikhulu umuntu oboshiwe it happens because angizwa ngakuthi wa yenza kanje wenze kanje i've studied you know the evolution of human souls i've studied quantum physics i've studied quantum mechanics i've studied different types of spiritual traditions that's why i classified myself as a self initiate taking looking at my life as it unfolds it directioning pure abantu abadala and what is happening to me so but if i was only looking into my tradition and culture i believe kube ngafika ngalangikhona okay I think you need to go and study. You need to find this word, self-initiate, Tools. in our language. Because Tools. you studied, you studied, you studied. But my mantras and thoughts, please also help us to understand self-initiate in our language. I think that will also help us less in because we can't start other things and Tools. forgetting about our own cultures. Okay, uh, I could be wrong. I stand to be corrected. But self initiates because we have come over from Emma Kosin, Emma Babi Zangabo Makosi. So self initiate to Umakos. Yes. Please assist us, whoever that is watching the episode. Anyway, yes, it, are you fine? Okay, now um, it's a question. So what? Don't I need your thoughts? Yeah. Don't you think we've got a lot of people about me about Twasa, about Puzza, about Palas? And myself initiate. <laughs> We've got a lot of them. They keep contacting me. Okay. They keep contacting me. And one of the prominent signs, Umuntu Hambila Walpuza Walpalaza, trust me, it never works out because the process was not meant for them. Mm. But this was a wrong client. Mm. Because guess what happens? Guess what happens? That's when they start seeing people like me, Emma Emma Pushenwabo, after seeing TikTok videos. Mm. I said, no, we don't. So Lapoge Umunti was like Liboni in Sebens or Nomin Kambiso Yama course, and they get to Imagine if I come into your house, 
bangfian consulting ganza ko about decisions that have to do with your yard mm-hmm. because ama khosi bahamba phambili sinabo nathi ama abantu abantu abadala abathwasi lubungoma mm-hmm. abasiphetha basiphela iphi uyinga kusenza ama practices wabangoma sinaba ama prophet but ama khosi bahamba phambili mm-hmm. ifo phakamisa ngama khosi ngicela ungithembe ungahamba waya la ufuna khona wahamba uyothwala ngeke uzobusebenza ubunyanga buzovele bume qivi because our hamba nge indlela ephakamisa umoya okukhola hayi okuphetha phambili bakhona abantu abenza ubungoma baphumelele ngoba bahanjiswa abangoma baphethwe abangoma that's okay baphethwe aba prophet baphethwe amagedla that's okay but amakhosi kahluka lokho you know i'm asking this question because i've been doing my job for long you know Togo. and i'm interviewing different people Togo. so i listen to all of you guys and i also do my own research mm-hmm. and also like like funu was i'm realizing ukuthi kuningi oku wrong okwenza ke le okudungulungisa angisho ukuthi amaself initiate what but get because tomorrow they will come and say but is it is a bias you are biased you, you like no 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 i'm just saying ukuthi i just realize ukuthi kuningi okwenza ke le okudinga ukulungisa ngicela uphawulo kunye nje yes 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 no it's your episode Talk. Thank you. Mm-hmm. So, yabona le nto ushoyo, it's very important, chef. Mm-hmm. Very important because namhlanje ngizoba expose abangani bam. Inyanga nezangoma naba prophet zilimaza abantu. Mm-hmm. Do you know what today people don't listen to their ancestors but rather umuntu ophilayo ohambayo ngeenyawo onabadala. Mm-hmm. Because zikhona inyanga who proudly stand up and say uma uphupha ibha yekuphapha ugijimu yolthenga. Mm-hmm. You must consult Mm. So ngamanya magama wena you are disregarding mm. lozi lomuntu uthi wena kufanele kube uwashot. Ngina abantu abangifonelayo bangiboniswa ngimhlahlo bangithi ngibona ijazi elinje. Umuntu athi kuthi wengihlehle kancane ngalo ngime ngithi who say so uthi lo muntu bengimconsult. People are scared to do what their ancestors lead and guide them to do. Basaba mm. abantu abaphilayo because they want to be relevant. So mina ke ngithe mangena kule ndaba mina bengiyabufuna ukunyanga bengiyabufuna yonke le nto engiyo namhlanje bengingayifuna. So I made a vow to myself and my higher self with mang zonke and I'm not going to play games. I'm not going to perpetuate yonke le corruption engiboni yenze. I'm going to stand by the truth and speak the truth. So abantu wow. bayaqolwa bayadlalwa la ngaphandle. Umuntu unedlozi liyamgayida liyamtshela even some of the self initiates. Umuntu sabu khuleka. So tell me what is upahla? People today baba thusile ni phahla wrong idlozi lakho lizokushaya idlozi lizobaleka idlozi lakho lizopanisha people are afraid chef because e inyanga want to solidify themselves and validate themselves as the gospel truth bafuna ukuthi abantu babe dependent ngibo but how you depend emuntu unophila yo than idlozi lakho that's why genuine self initiation important if you're a self initiate i was to depend emuntu in even nano muzagim i'm not your gospel truth I'm not the voice that speaks over your ancestors but I'm the guide which will help you implement effectively go through the process ya badala bakini that's why as fun as going ok fana as na mabitsa fana we don't even have uniform ek sebenza umsebenzi wa badala we don't even have a uniform tell me kel um your thoughts eh do you think i can start a journey ya makosi self initiate and then end it ngejeni yobungoma yokhamba ngiyothwasa ngiphuze ngiphalanzi or it's not possible okay um that happens uma ngabe ijeni yakho ifailile oh abantu abadala they can fail again yes we are fail okay abantu abadala bayakwazi ukufika back downgrade bakhona ama initiates bamtshelile ukuthi wena if awufuna uthatha lendlela sizokuwisa esigubini esigubini yes esigubini manje esigubu sabangoma Oh okay. okay. Unfortunately, I don't care whether bang thanda or bazo dismiss or bazo thukana it's okay but hierarchy it's or spiritual okay, uh, uh, because you are standing your truth. Yes. And your truth will set you free. Thank you. Yes, so proceed. You know I'm sorry I keep saying this because but damage le abantu langaphandle because they try to invalidate all these things. Mm-hmm. But unfortunately mase haba emoyeni khona ijeni yesibiza nge evolution. You know when a child starts asese mncani uzoba umntwana ogugwayo bese uyakhasa bese uyaphakama uyahamba seka esikolweni seka sebenza seka enze konke lo spiritually sine journey and ama course have 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 passed all these levels base zingene eliphezulu hayi ngaphandle kokudelela because abantu abadala bayafika kuba kutshela ukuthi if awufuna ukuthatha le ndlela ama course ya downgrade that's why ama course singathwasisi uzile waphila wenza le inhlelo zonke zobungoma zoprofit was master umase uwa ama course you are a self initiate you have 
passed, you have mastered. That's why you have to do because you have already fulfilled what passed as a test. We live in different instances. Uzo pila, gule jeni, but your introduction, you, it's your introduction to spirituality. Besa bag is just, you know, a ubai minor prophet, we have only swa lapo na lapo. You excel in that. We are shown, ubu you pila food. Bag nige zu prophet, obu nga pezu. Bag nige zu fundis. Bag nige zu prophet. Bag nige zu kel. Musu kete zu onkeles. That's why uma we self-initiate, uno prophet, uno mnyanga, because you have mastered all of these la so figure khona manje so hamba ngomoya ongadinga ukuthwasiswa in truth if abazali bethu bebasithetha isiphiwo uma sewuzalwa ngaphansi kwalo yomzali bozo wazi ukuthi nabakhomba amaphupho uzoguide you just need a guide just mere guidance um patu is coming because i interviewed somebody togos othu thwase amakhos togos i need that interview togos and i will make it happen to have you mm -hmm. and maybe somebody else and the two of them. Togos. Do you know what's the difference between Abantaba Twasa Makosi and Atisna Twasa Makosi? The difference is Abantaba Twasa Makosi, they have been, they, have, they, they were taken through a process, a tradition, a Makosi. But, um, but was it, was in the big millions of Galilee? And was it Paula Lapo because I, I'm not going to be in. No, no, no. Yes. So of course, because remember what law or umuntu zoti uya twasi sa amakos because man zotwa mina nyo twasi amakos. Of course, I must get somebody or twasi amakos. But listening to you, uh, you saying no, amakos ikra. Look, I mean, unless I didn't hear you well, you you, you can correct. Unis wega ashe, but okay. I want to be brutally honest. As human beings, uh -huh. asas yongi ndo. Mm -hmm. We know mm -hmm. in part. Oh. So, mm -hmm. but as far as I know and I understand, amakosa so atwasi. Mshambe kwa na makosa atwasa yuko mshambe kwa numundo ojulisa kule process basi na wibi zangendo aso ya makosa because okay. namonga imis understand ozobo na ngati ndo aso ya makosa it kama ina atwasi si ya mentor. We mentor. Mm -hmm. Eh eh, angsuye nu kobe, angkobi sa makosi, kangwa zuwenza lo. Anyway, my matches and thoughts <laughs> family, as you all know, that I'm an author of this beautiful book called On My Own, I Have Found Sunshine. I want to say thank you so much to each and everyone who already purchased the copy. The book is doing well. Your messages, like, guys, okay, and thank you so much. What I want to say to all of you, if you want the copy of this book, please do send me a WhatsApp, do send me an email, DM me. Please don't call me. <laughs> and the book is trying to try and be delivered across South Africa via Pepexi. And thank you so much. Let's see the land of again. One of your interviews, Mkolo, you have made a reference that did not seem to sit well with some of the Sangomas. Mm -hmm. And you have assumed traditional healing is limited and confined to Indumba. Hence, you allegedly. Hence, you alleged the Sangomas can do divination over the phone. Yes. You remember? Yes, I remember. Good. Moreover, you added a Sangoma can only perform divination if a client is sitting in front of them. Mkulu, some Sangomas are of the view that is ignorance of how they work. Are you not concerned that you might be viewed as ignorant of something that you have not gone through? yourself we're going back i did ask you earlier on mm -hmm. but now i'm somewhere else please what's yeah. your thought <laughs> well um everyone is entitled to their own opinion mm -hmm. and those whom i think i'm ignorant it's okay because i was making a public statement very conscious mm -hmm. number one we have traditional healers who are openly speaking about how ubungoma is structured okay there's two groups there's one group which is still primitive in the tradition Yobungoma from where it comes. Uh -huh. These are the ones who damn anyone who comes on social media. Uh -huh. They damn anyone who does online um, consultations. Uh -huh. They damn anyone who shoot this gorlo. They, they condemn anyone who basically applies all these modern practices, Aboma tarot cards, Aboma Kauri shells and whatnot. They, uh -huh. they are so much against these practices. Uh -huh. So this is the group I was talking to. The one that is ignorant of the wave of change and the modern practices of healing. But now, I didn't mention that that, that Iconic Group is too. 
Those abayi zangoma, abasale ikorwe nzabo, but still do online, still do cards, you know, still have ikorwe as a fancy, they, they use ama, ama essential oils, but seven zisa iwasho as a fancy, as a manj, modern practices, you know, mm -hmm. there's two types. Mm -hmm. The ones I was specifically referring to are the ones who are insulting modern healers. Zikoni zangoma as a modern, izangoma as lathambile, izangoma as hambisana nengkati za manj. I mean, let's have a look at this. If um kokom kuluako was isangoma in the 1800s, do you think that practice is still relevant even today? How you access people, how you assist them, how you deliver your services. It must be someone who's extremely primitive in their mind. Oh, I was vuga and smell their coffee and see where we are. You know, we are in the century where things have been, where things are modernized. Mm -hmm. So there are modern healers. And modern healers would understand they should be the ones who are saying, hey, when I was as we are I intentionally wanted to mention this because we need to understand Uguti, Asikwazi Uguti Masamangalama practices Lao, Sitabang Uguti, all these practices which do not originate from Africa, access in Do as a Ezigamoya. They understand. I don't. Izangoma, if you do tarot cards, but I learned to into the say Western, about no uti as India. So mangabo when zogunye nje, they keep commenting on my videos. So uti amanyumerelo juwe nu. All these practices, these are modern practices. They are not limited to geographic areas. Mm -hmm. But to those izangoma, about in online, I do have friends be zangoma. Mm -hmm. I have a very good relationship ne zangoma. That's why mangabo when zo kotla kotla na na inya ingwe inga ne in. But what I am, a uh, chef, I'm basically an, av an advocate for self-initiates. If mm -hmm. a person like me who's articulate, who's vibrant, who's knowledgeable and who's wise, mm -hmm. self-initiates will die. Mm -hmm. Because mm -hmm. because that's not the right path. So we can't listen to one person who thinks they've figured it all out. That's why I keep saying we know in part. It's not ignorance. It's that I'll speak my truth for what I know. And the things I don't know, I would hate because mm. others will teach in that aspect. Others will give their experiences. But for those who say self-initiation does not exist, you know, very good healers are famous. They should continue doing that. But I am here to speak to those who will hear my voice, to speak to those who need but unfortunately to those who believe in such people with a mindset, that's okay, but myself initiates Afi. Okay, um, because of time, you need to give your word of wisdom to the Manches. And I think we need part two of this. It's cats, man, I was told with Haman when we are overlap. So I'm trying as well. And please, your word of wisdom, whatever that you want to say to the Manchis that are watching this episode. So what I'd like to say to the Manchis is, please understand that as human souls, we came to evolve. So our evolution is not the same. There are people who have merely entered the cycle of birth and rebirth. So they are going to do very mundane things. That's why we shouldn't say people are useless. They are just here to experience the senses. We've got people who are, who are on an entry level of spirituality, who are growing in the evolutionary journey. They're still going to churches. They are confined within religions and traditions. That's okay. There are people who have superseded the levels of confinement and tradition and religion and all these things that box one spirituality. They have come to a point of freedom and growth and enlightenment. They have seen beyond what was prescribed to them. They are mystical in nature. They are looking for esoteric teachings as above no, not just, you know, teachings which are exoteric, lasers pure zoning, cons, when this is pure, free by everyone, but they've discovered the truth which is hidden or occulted. These are people that we may not always understand. These are people who are woke. But as fun, if you are not awoken or if you're still struggling in your journey, be patient with yourself. So as Lingani, so we shouldn't fight. People who are still within traditions, religions, there's no need for us to fight, but we can share wisdom so that Siwazu can be sana song. So in closing, we've got different human experiences. We are all in the journey. Some are about to exit their masters mm. and some have only begun. So giving respect to the ones who are starting out, the ones in the middle and the ones at the top. Let's allow those who are at the top to teach us. Let those who still make mistakes in the beginning, be patient so that we can have a harmonious world. To my friends, Bezangoma, I love you so much. I learned so much from you. I'm not plagiarizing, but I'm getting inspired. And to my friends, Mama Self Initiates, Amakosi, let's keep into our journey. Let's not allow anyone to basically discredit or invalidate out of fear 
of what we are because we are great healers of our time but this does not take away any greatness from izangoma and other types of healers thank you so much that was beautiful <laughs> i hope you are enjoying the episode and thank you so much for loving me and like all of you guys some messages when you are tolile yes i went and i buried my aunt and thank you so much but i'm back because men and seven there on that note it's a wrap and goodbye darlings thank you so much <laughs> thank you.